and I had to go into the alleyway right here because I was laughing so hard. But so there's a scene we're filming where Kyle's running and he's yelling for help. And the neighbors thought that he actually needed help. So they called the police and then three police officers showed up. Man, you need school. What you saw is what you reap. The price of even making it, you know it's not cheap. Not never mind the lights, you can sacrifice sleep. Put your best out there, see results in a week. I don't think they know. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another video. So, today is a beautiful October night. It is about a week about 10 days until Halloween so it's got that kind of eerie chilly getting dark early vibe but as you guys may know if you've been watching along um, our journey for a while or if you've been just tuning in to our YouTube channel we are in the process of working on a sci-fi comedy movie well we aren't working on it we're in it um, so this filmmaker from Connecticut hit us up a while back now about four months five six months ago uh, messaged me on Facebook he watched our YouTube channel for a while and he said if we wanted to do like a little part in his movie that he's making so I called him up talked about it for a while we decided to do it and it turned into like some full roles uh, me and Sammy are both pretty big parts of the movie that car sounds cool I think it's a Trans Am so we're both pretty big parts in the movie and we went to Connecticut twice to film already and now he is here with another one of the actors in the movie, Kyle, in our own backyard. They're staying in Atlantic City, well, EHT, West Atlantic City, I guess. And we're going to be doing some filming tonight. They want to, he wants to get, he was supposed to be here a little bit earlier, but it took longer for him to get here. And actually the scooter that we were using for the film caught on fire yesterday. Uh, it fell over in the van and it had like a short in it. Something happened where it, it like was smoking and a bunch of the cords in there or like the tubes got ruined. I don't really know what happened, but so we are here. We're going to go to Ocean City tonight and film some stuff. And then all day tomorrow we're going to be filming. But basically this is a behind the scenes look at the sci-fi horror film that we are currently acting in directed by Rob Namir so it's going down waiting for these guys to get here and then I'll introduce them big dog what up what's up dude how are you how are you Deep we're at the famous Tucker upper the famous Tucker and Sammy's house I gave you a present you like I, that yeah I love it Check out those movies, you're not gonna find them anywhere else. Yeah. Hey, where's my presents? Yeah, and you gave me a present friends. too. Uh, I, I was in the car. I, I want to yeah, show. I gave you a gold piece. You gave me a gold piece too. You What's guys up, gave Rob? me some gold pieces too. Are you alright? And I got yeah, some gold man. pieces right here. That was, that was a, a far drive. <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> that was an intense drive. We got Burger King too. Yeah, well, we did. That's not bad. What did you get from Burger King? I got a chicken sandwich and. Uh, he got a Whopper Jr. Whopper. Ooh. How'd you get that many DVDs, man? There's a, there's a Dollar Tree around here, right? No. And a Dollar General. These yeah, are these right. are from the flea market, though, yeah. There's one right uh, around the corner. What? This looks awesome. I don't need to. I don't. Need, I don't think I need to go shopping this weekend. Don't get too comfortable. Nope. We went shopping. You for went, you. went shopping for me. Oh mm -hmm. my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Thank you so much, guys. Wow. Zom. It was all free. Leave your house. Oh, cool. Thank you. Zombie night and whoa. Oh, this is a. I heard about this one. This one looks really good. You're the only person who heard about that ever. What is that? I heard about this one. Late night, horror hotel, late night horror hotel. You would. Never That's part. No, I'm kidding. That's part of a season, though. But oh, look see. inside. There's other ones with it. Oh, they're just they're ones? burned. Oh, cool. It's probably it's... like weird stuff on those burned ones. <laughs> okay, we are here now at this warehouse area, and we're going to be filming a little scene where 
Kyle and me are walking down basically the alleyway. What up? What up, yo? What up, viewers? What's going on here? We're filming um, an, an alleyway shot for Alien, Alien Vampire Busters yet again. <laughs> We're back here in Atlantic City again. There's nothing open. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Yeah. Were you guys like yelling or anything? Ye I, that, yelling? Yeah, kind of. Uh, I mean, that's something that's in the scene. Yeah, no, someone just called. I guess they were a little. That dude over there. No, the one scene here was like running from these like alien things. All right. Yeah, it's cool. It's all CGI. And then they're not a big deal. I mean, if you're just filming cool. something, okay. you guys are straight. What's up, man? Yeah. How are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, I guess just somebody heard it. Yeah. Um, I was yeah. concerned, but you're good. Yeah, they said yeah. that they might have to take it. I guess someone heard it, you know. No, I'm good. Yeah, I was But yeah, we should be done, like, in literally, like, 15 minutes. Yeah, not a big deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're fine. I think someone thought there was, like, a fight or something. Well, I think the one time we were doing a stunt here, and the lady Have like thought channel? we were trying to commit suicide or something, and all the detectives and everything came, but they had known yeah. us already, I guess. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see the videos on. Yeah. I see all of it. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> COVID I, times. I, 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 You're good, bro. Channel. You're good. I have a YouTube channel too. So yeah. we're doing I have a YouTube channel. Well, now you're, you're in uh, you're in <laughs> South Jersey now. Movie buff one. Louis. Movie buff. Movie buff one. All right. I make movie reviews and TV updates and stuff. Yeah. And I do movies like this, like low budget movies and acting and stuff. Alright. They want you, Kyle. They want me. The <laughs> movie is called <laughs> Alien Vampire Busters. Alien Vampire Busters. This one? Yeah. yeah. Alright. And if you guys hired Kyle, you would have a lot less crime. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah. He's one of the, uh, the Alien Vampire Busters. <laughs> One of the leading roles. That's a listening I, device that he uses I, to stop crying. Do you crying. want to lower it or? Lower Kyle, it? we're cool, man. How long have you guys been working we're on? We're fighting or something. A long time. Um, I don't know, Rob. How long have you been? Yeah, no, oh, you guys are fine. Going to Atlantic City, and then we're good. Oh, right, well, there's somebody in your no place, man. Yeah, you guys are good. Have fun. Hey. Hey, how you doing? What's up, man? These guys. Your cars out back here? Oh uh, yeah, you want us to move it? Yeah, if you can even just move them up. We're, we're gonna, we can pull them right around to the front. That's cool. Right, that'll work. Yeah, right now we can't even get a car down the alley. Okay, so. my bad. Oh good. We, we were, we were. Fix furniture and stuff, or? Uh, no, it's just for storage. Oh, all right, cool man. Cool, cool spot. Yeah, I remember Ben. I remember it's all over. I remember Ben had something. You guys are on a company or something? Or? Uh, y yeah. What was? Were you in that video years ago? The one over at Durio's? Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. I thought you looked familiar. Lots of videos. Yeah, I'm sure. We've been making YouTube what's, videos for yeah, our, what's, what's our your, whole lives. What's your name again or whatever? Do you guys have like a, what's your, is it a production company or? We have a couple different ones, yeah. Oh, okay, cool, man. So that He's actually here. from Connecticut. Yeah, He's so a so filmmaker, so but here. the one you're thinking of is probably Nub TV. Nub TV, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. That, that riot at the Oreos. That's what it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty intense. <laughs> I know, man. Um, we're gonna yeah, just pull around to the front. Yeah, if you want to pull around into the parking spots over there. With this guy parking his. Yeah, I'm sorry. We we were actually trying to be like real short, and then he was yelling because we're fil he's filming a movie actually. Did the cops talk to you guys? Yeah, there's okay. two out front. Cool, cool, cool. But uh, no okay. problem. No, no we'll be out of here soon. No, no, all good, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. What was your name? I'm Sergeant Schaefer, Matt. Schaefer. Okay, I'm Tucker. Very nice. Well, to meet James you. officially, but Very Tucker. Nice. Yeah. Right, nice to meet you, man. What happened, Kyle? Kyle, did so you get I was, out? I was filming a scene when I was screaming and and I was doing like I don't want to give the scene away, but um, so I was I was screaming and the cops, uh, one of the Scott, this this drunk guy, I don't know if he was drunk, he was on his phone and he was having a little too much to drink or something. So he he called he called, called he's like what's all that screaming, and then he's like. And then we're like, you know, we, we own, you use, uh, Sam said, you own the property. And then, and then he, he, he's like, and then he calls the cops on us, pretty much. Pretty much we, we got the cops called on us. Were they cool though? Yeah, yeah, they were cool. They were, they were cool about it. They were really cool. <laughs> they were really cool. <laughs> right there, that's a spot. I got focus on you. Let's Wait, where's the spot? I can't 
spot. That was a good spot. That's a good spot. This one? Perfect. Okay. Go back though, I have to focus on you. Okay, Kyle, I got focus. All right, I had to go into the alleyway right here because I was laughing so hard, but so there's a scene we're filming where Kyle's running and he's yelling for help and the neighbors thought that he actually needed help. So they called the police and then three police officers showed up. Luckily, one of them knew me pretty well and the other two knew of our videos already. So ended up being no big deal, but wow. Somebody thought that Kyle was actually in need of help. Who's gonna help me? There's nothing open! <laughs> Hear this guy yelling? This is too good. Give us the verdict, Kyle. Uh, the verdict is uh, that we went up this whole flight of stairs, like 15 flights of stairs, of of, sta what, of, of like stairs, and, and we're driving and driving, and I thought we had never get, find a, a, a parking lot, a spot, no spots. The whole place is filled. How many people are here? I have no idea. Damn. I don't know why they would be here. I don't get it. What the hell would they be here for? I haven't this been like to this the, casino this, in this, this so ghetto, long. This, this, the damn ghetto around here. Did you see it around here? It's pretty yeah, crazy, it's right? Crazy. Yeah, but that's not this. We're at the. Where the hell are we? Oh! If you drop your camera, that's it. No, you don't want to look down. Holy shit. Atlantic City, baby. Look at this, Kyle. Look how funny this is. Hard rock. When they started painting this, they only painted as far as they had to put them on and they stopped. And that's been like that for two years. Really? Yeah, and they never finished. See the paint? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless that's on purpose, but I don't I think, think so. No, it's supposed to be like that. You think? Yeah. I don't know. It's that way, see? Okay. Yeah, I got the key. $100. I don't know. We're not doing it for the movie. We're just right. recording this. Thank you. Huh? You should be taking pictures of that. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. No, I'm okay. not taking any pictures. Okay. I don't know. I think you just pulled the thing. Bet Max. Yeah. Bet Max and then spin it. That's like the quickest hundred dollar we ever lost. That was it, dude. <laughs> no, you didn't do that. Do it to you. All right. It's the next day. Um, so we got some filming done last night for the movie. And we are here at my house, at me and Sammy's house, I should say. And supposedly today the plan is to set up the green screen somewhere on my property and try and get the rest of the green screen footage done today. So we're waiting for Rob Namir and Kyle Rappaport to come over. They stayed at a hotel about 15 minutes away and they should be here soon and then we're going to see what's going on. Look at this guy. Professional legend, Landis.
a good cat. Really good boy. And look at this little girl. Hey! This is Lucky Girl. These are our two cats that just showed up here one day and never left. So we adopted them. They're very good cats. Really, really good. And Lucky likes moving blankets to lay on. What's up, big dog? It's up. Uh, we're shooting um, movie magic, right? Movie magic. Us putting up the signs for the mayor. Don't give it too much away. Take two. What are we doing? We're, um, we're putting up signs. Don't give too much away. Oh. Take three. What are we doing? What should I say? What should I say? Back backwards. Back um, All right, take four. What are we doing here? We're, we're filming in this, um, like, back, back in the back of a Kmart, uh, out of business Kmart. Yeah. Uh, Alien Vampire Busters. It went out of business. Same Alien Vampire Busters. Focus with so here's the boy. Nick came over, helped us out. He's going to play right. the robot. Good, yeah. What's going on here? Nick came over last minute to be the robot because all of our friends just are busy. Uh, mm, it's pretty much speaks for itself. It's just gold. Very hard. Actually, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't but look bad, but I'm saying it's looking at You do have a robot team. That's awesome. Do you like this? Yeah, I do. Do you think we nailed the scenes earlier? I think we did. I think we definitely did. Robot, stop walking. Tucker, move forward more. Yeah. Stop. Look at the robot. Don't run right away, though. No, do. Let's do it again. Grab Tucker by the neck. Hit his head. Tucker, run. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was good. I shit myself. What? What? <laughs> we all just have to get out of here. We have to run. No, I'll, I'll put something in, like a robot coming or something, and you all run. Okay, so I move this red chair. Yeah, I won't see it. I'm okay. just going to see this. I thought this was a health center. We all have to get out of here. Okay. Exactly what you just said. It's like that one. You guys stay at the Hell Hotel. The Hell Hotel. Or was it nice in there? Do you guys have any drug dealers trying to sell you drugs over there? Really? Uh, That's yeah. notorious. No, no, there, there was. Crickets, crickets, crickets. Yeah, like put the one, put the single thing away. Just do the poster and put up the poster on the fence. I'll put some tape on it. So it's yeah. This is all. Right? <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> But don't put it up yet. I'm gonna record you. You ready? Yeah. So just hang it away on the top of the fence and in a gap. Stick it in one of those gaps so it holds okay. it. You ready? Action.
All right, what's up everyone? I hope you guys enjoyed that little behind the scenes episode of the first time that the filmmaker came to us here in New Jersey and we did a bunch of filming around our hometown in our backyard. Uh, you guys saw it, but we've been putting a lot of work in on this sci-fi comedy movie and it's going to be really funny. So we will keep everyone updated on when that comes out. Alien Vampire Busters is the title of it. We just wanted to explain everything that we got going on. And fill you guys in. And fill you guys in. A lot of what we do is different. It's not the same thing every day. And we haven't really been able to like film everything we're doing because we've just been super busy. And some of it is stuff that's leading into other projects. It's always a million projects we're getting, at once. We're getting to the point now where we can start on bigger projects that are going to take longer amounts of time. And we have a big, huge project that we're undertaking next year. That's kind of like right now, it's, it's our secret project that we're working on. And we actually sold both the Volvo and the Expedition out of the yard. He's taking everything in it, right? <laughs> I left them some surprises in there. I took out some of the stuff, but... Are you saying goodbye to the baby? I just like watching uh, this piece of... I just like it uh, gone. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's cool that we got like, the money. The first car gone. So what's he just driving this one out of here or what? No, he's just gonna come back and get it. This guy is Taking this away, coming back and getting it, yeah. And there he goes. All right, just said goodbye to the two cars that we had. Easy come, easy go, I guess. On to the next mission and we're gonna turn that money back into the other project. But we can't say what it is yet, but stay tuned. Sorry. <laughs> can't tell. But I wanted to update everyone on the 15 pallets that we bought at auction, so that would be our last video. And the reality of it is we hardly filmed anything the next day when we unboxed everything because we were so tired. Still tired from that auction. But uh, we can just tell what we got. We got this couch. So all together we bought three lots and two pallets. Three lots and then two pallets from another lot. We paid $268. Which is like nothing for what we got. For everything. And in it we got this couch, with, which retails for $3,440. The sections that are here. We got a flat screen TV that works 100% fine. Can't see it, but... We got a mixer that sells... For how much at Walmart? Three forty. Three hundred and forty dollars. Yeah, we were which at Walmart works. and I saw it, and I was like, "Oh my god, it's actually worth a lot of money." I thought it was just like, I thought it was gonna be like only like a hundred, but I mean that would be a lot too. So. I think we can sell it for one fifty at least. It works fine. Three Xboxes that I already sold. A PlayStation, a PlayStation, a PS2, a PS2 Slim, a Dreamcast. What else? Do we got a whole box of jewelry that we haven't gone through yet. And also, I wanted to add like the video that we put out when we were at that auction warehouse warehouse auction sorry um we just filmed us throwing everything out because the last time before this last time that we went we just took everything filled up the truck filled up the trailer brought it home and then went through it but i kind of pushed turner and glom and i was like well they provide dumpsters that you can just go through everything there instead of bringing it back home and then having to go through it. Why don't we just utilize their dumpster and throw out the stuff we don't want and then bring everything home that's good, which is what we did, but we didn't film all the good stuff when we were there. We just filmed us throwing it out because we were so like, that was the first time we ever did something like that, like utilize their dumpster. So we were kind of just rushing to get out of there because you are on a time frame and at that point you can't really worry about the filming you just got to get it done and get out so um, there was a lot that we bought on a whim for a hundred dollars it was sixty dollars for the stuff that we threw out was only sixty 
and we only paid 50 because Glom paid 10. And there were seven pallets that had construction debris on everything and we had no idea until we bought it because it was so cheap. So really the only things that we salvaged from that lot, the, the dust made us sick too. We got yeah. like severe migraines, both of us. I don't know about Glom, I didn't ask him yet, but I'm sure he did. The wand, the elder wand, the box of video games, which is worth at least 200 and the box of jewelry, which is yet to be determined. So almost everything else was garbage. Um, and honestly, Glom took a lot of it, you could have like, if you really, really wanted to, you could have cleaned it off and like tried to resell it. But most of it was not resellable. And like, personally, I'm not cleaning off whatever that creepy dust no, was. It made me sick. sick. And like, I don't want to se like sell that to people. And most of it was trash. Like, so that was like kind items. of like I did get Swarovski crystals out. That of was that. like a risk, but we made our money off that a hundred percent, no doubt. Oh, and I got the Xbox, and then a lot of um, that was the clothing rack lot. I sold just the rack. I got a box of like clothes that's worth like, oh, oops, like three thousand dollars, I think. Which I'm gonna be making. Well, I already made it but it's not out yet. A YouTube video on my channel showing you guys exactly what was in the box. And it's really good. So the, the, we didn't show the unboxing of those clothes at all. And once mm -hmm. she says like $3,000 worth of clothes, that's 100% an understatement. So yeah, it is. please tune into the Bambi Cat channel in the next couple days, that video will be out. And it's just her showing all of the clothes that were in just one box. That we had really no idea. No clue. Um, that, I, was, that was part of Glom's $10 yeah. lot that he bought. So, in other news, we are releasing a short film for Halloween. We've been working on it. That's been taking up a lot of time, but it's <laughs> we think it's really funny. Um, it's all acting, and it's based off of, like, a zombie outbreak. Um, but comedy. It's not. It's not supposed to be serious. So, keep that in mind. Keep an open mind. When you go to view that, it should be out. Halloween day, the 31st, at like 10 a.m. And we're thinking about doing a live feed, a live YouTube video on the night before Halloween. Um, so let us know if you would like to watch a live video of us. You can answer, We can answer your questions. Um, we actually have an unboxing, a really special gift that we got that we want to unbox on the live. Yes, yeah, so let us know if you, want to, if you want us to do the live and then we'll schedule it. Uh, we've never done anything like that on our channel. But there's a first time for everything, as they say. This is true. And then, okay, so we're going to, a lot of people watch every one of our videos, which is amazing. We're so happy about that. And we know that the content is so varied. We love that people stay with us and follow our journey, even though it's not the same thing every time. Um, so we're going to do, just in this video right now, just a t-shirt giveaway to give back a little bit. I know it's not much, but we want to do more of these. We've just been so busy trying to keep up with the videos and trying to keep up with what we do every day. But we're going to be giving away a black original Freedom to Dream shirt. I think we only have sizes small through double X right now. Let me know your size if you win on an email and then I'll make sure what we have in stock. And if we don't have your size, at least you can get it and give it to someone else maybe. Um, but yeah, we should. We should have your size. We have most sizes in stock right now. So all you have to do to get in the giveaway is leave a comment on this video and like this video. And that's it. And you'll be included in the giveaway. So we're doing a shirt giveaway and right now. And that's it. We have a, a huge project that we're planning for next year. Um, that's kind of secret. Did we say that already? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we said that already. So we sold the Vob. Did we say it right now? I think so. We sold the Volvo and the Expedition out of the yard. So I don't know if people are aware right now, but people are buying cars that don't run. Well, the Volvo actually fully runs. So we just popped this on. I had the battery charger on here and she fired right up. So I'm happy to see that. A little sad to see her go, but happy to get our money back. And it's going to someone we know that's going to hopefully make a good profit off of it. Reality is, we just have too much going on. It's not a really a good excuse, but it's just, it's just true. 
That doesn't sound right. But yeah, I mean, I had plans for Sammy to drive this car, but if you guys can hear the way it drives, it's just, it's just not gonna, it's just not good. That's the thing. Let me just turn this around, actually. Like, you hear that? I don't know what that is. It could be anything in the engine. So hopefully he can just either sell it as is, flip it, or just sell the engine, because that works. I don't know what that is, though. I drove it out of the yard onto the tow truck. People are buying junk cars right now because catalytic converters are so high that the scrap value of the car has gone way up. Not if you take it to the scrap yard, but say you're gonna go sell a car that has the original cats in it, for anyone who has a car sitting at their house, uh, catalytic yeah. converter prices have skyrocketed and they're gonna go back down, so just sell it now. So we got, basically, we didn't make any money off the cars, but we definitely didn't lose any money. Yeah, so we got our money back. We just broke even, that happens sometimes. We had hopes and dreams for both those cars that just didn't work out, but we're gonna roll that money over into our project that we may start up, in, up at the end of this year, but it's going to be like a fully invested, huge project that we're gonna go fully into. The new schedule that I came up with for our uploads, since we have so many other things rolling in our heads, is we're going to be doing YouTube uploads only three times a week, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the rest of the year and then maybe a random one here and there. Obviously the Halloween one, we're gonna do a live feed and then Halloween day is gonna be an upload. But after that, for the following November, December, I think we're gonna do three videos a week. And yeah, thank you guys so much for continuing to watch and following our journey. We really, really appreciate it because all of the dreams that I've had in my head about making a clothing brand, making movies, just making content that people enjoy being happy and having a life that I truly wake up to every day and enjoy are slowly but surely coming true. And it is, I know people say this, but it is thanks to all the people watching because without you guys, I wouldn't have the motivation to continue. So freedom to dream. Like without you guys, we wouldn't be able to continue. So thank you, seriously. And What's the claim? What? Weddies? Sunday night weddies! It's not Sunday. Don't say that word so loud. Alright, well, this went ran way too long, so we'll see you guys in the next video. He's on a diet, so he can't eat the W E T T. And good morning or good night? It's good night or good morning. Sorry, guys, I'm so tired. Woo! Life.